All right, guys. Net Domination is going to be able to pick up that pistol round. Apologize for my mic being muted. Uh, as we do have Dreamboat on the CT side. Good little play there by Net Domination by having those two guys sitting over an Ivy as they had three guys trying to push in upper B. Uh, so it looks like they are going to take the bomb into upper B this time. And it looks like we do have a stack on B with three of the Dreamboat players there ready to go. But we also see three players already out in midsection on the A site. As Net, as uh, NJ is able to take down Elian in the A site and make his way, if you can notice there, he is up there in the CT heaven. As the Screech just kind of sitting here on the T, T side heaven, waiting for somebody to peek out. Looks like Pisciano is going to be able to get the bomb down on the A site right in front of the yellow barrel. As Supreme here is trying to get him to make a play out of Z, but he doesn't realize, I'm not sure if he realizes that there's somebody up there. The Screech is going to end up getting taken down by Pain while we have Supreme, last man standing for Dreamboat. Probably going to back off here. Maybe try and get a couple guns out, but for the for the most part, I mean, four four on one, he is going to get taken down. That's going to be no, the second round for net domination. Um, unfortunately, Dreamy was not able to affect that economy of the net domination guys by taking any of their guns out of their hands. Uh, but it looks like they are going to stay with the Gleels. A couple P250s on the Dreamboat side. Their economy is still looking okay. As we go into the third round here. Looks like Dreamboat is actually going to end up stacking three guys in the Ivy. Three of them rushing through Ivy. This could get interesting here. Although the problem is... Well, they are going to meet there. As Payne is going to be able to take down Discreet. Payne's going to make his way towards the T-Connector here. As the Dreamboat guys will stack up on the A site. One still watching Ivy. Alien just here watching over at B. This Pootie sits here watches on Ivy. Does hear the guy, the T in Ivy. That's going to be NJ for the Net Domination team. And he is going to get taken down by NJ. But Alien comes in with the trade, able to pick up NJ from the Z connector here. As the three terrorists are going to be stacked up right above the ladder. Looks like they're going to make their way down on ladder and make a play into A here. Coden's going to take a few pop shots at the, at the, the CTs here in the A site. Oh, Alien able to take down JB. As Coden here is able to take down Alien, as long as also Pisano being able to make JP out of the game. But it looks like the T's are going to actually make their way back and try and go for that B plant. Last man on the CT side is going to be over in Ivy, so he is all the way across the map. As the, uh, the T's are able to get the bomb down here. Looks like Supreme's just going to sit here and wait. Maybe be able to get a gun out of their hands, but it's definitely going to uh, be another round in the hands of Net Domination. It's going to be three rounds. Good start to the T side for Net Domination so far. Um, you know, T, this, is a, this is a very CT-sided map, so... Being able to pick up the first three rounds as the T side is definitely going to be beneficial for. Uh, it's definitely going to be beneficial for the entire match as it's going to kind of put the CTs on a bit of a, a back back pedal. As now they're thinking, okay, we just lost the first three rounds. We got to pick up this gun round here, so it's going to be an interesting gun round. Looks like we're going to see Elian with an op. Pootie's going to get M4. Rest of the uh, Dreamboat team M4. One op over on the T side as well for net domination as NJ will pick up that op. Oh, looks like they're going to do a double op situation here as Pisano also picks up an op on the T side. So we do have double ops here. As JP is going to make take a couple shots here. Guys coming out of the mid connector is able to get some damage down onto JP. Takes him down to 19 health. As you can see, there are two guys stacked up in upper there by the ladder. As Supreme is going to back off. He was kind of pushing up on those guys a little bit, so... Not able to do any damage either way. Uh, the CTs nor the T side over on the B upper were, have taken any damage. As it looks here, looks like the uh, the T's are going to make their way into the upper B. Supreme here still waiting with the 
Waiting for somebody to peek out of that smoke there. Gonna fall back towards Z. Looks like they, they did make a call over for guys in Ivy, which is gonna cause a rotate from the CTs. It looks like two guys here are gonna make their way up through Ivy. It's discreet, just bad timing. Looks the other way. NJ and Coden over to, over on the T side, B side. T side, B side, able to uh, get into that site. Looks like they are gonna be planning B as the CTs are gonna make their way over towards the B site. Pootie able to take down both NJ and Coden, which is gonna be huge. One guy still upper, but Supreme is able to take him out. JP gonna try and hold on to the defuse here as Pewdie is getting taken down by Coden. The guys are gonna try and make their way in, but the bomb does get defused. Nice hold there by JP and able to get the last two frags to drop those guns. Those uh, those last two frags with the with the guns getting dropped is definitely going to be going to hurt the uh, the T side economy a little bit because it is going to force them to buy more guns. Um, it would have been nice for them to be able to keep it in the hands, but they do have plenty of money at this point. So looks like the uh, the T side is going to end up spreading out once again, sending coding up there. As Supreme is going to push his way up towards the smoke. Bomb looks like it's, we're seeing Bomb head over here towards Ivy again with these. They're doing this, this stack again of three three on the upper B side and the two guys over here on Ivy. Bomb on Ivy. These guys here are going to make a play onto the B site and hopefully uh, cause the rotate, allowing those guys on Ivy to make their way into the site and get the bomb down. We do have a four stack CTs on A site at the point at this point, but Supreme is going to make his way back through Z towards upper. As NJ, Coden, and Pisano are just going to wait here. Not sure if they're going to execute or uh, if they're waiting for a pick over at the Ivy side. Smoke is going to come out here from NJ. And they are going to make a play on the lower here. NJ able to pick up Supreme on that on that back train there. As Pootie is going to get the the, uh, the exchange, but Coden able to take down Pootie, JP taking out Pisano. It is going to be a 3v3 situation now, as the, the guys that were waiting Ivy are going to make their way out of Ivy. There is, we still hit, still have Discreet on the site, able to pick up Pained. If he's able to get this kill, no, he's not. JB is going to take him down, so they are going to be able to get that plant, as his teammate there did rotate back down through the ladder. They are able to get the bomb down. Last CT is in the Ivy, taking a peek. Able to pick up the first frag on JB. If he can get this frag on Code and win this round, this is going to be really, you know, it, this is a really big round for the CTs. They're going to really need this round. So this is huge if Elon is able to pick up this round for them. Because um, if they can't pick this up, they're going to really be hurting for money. And, you know, being a CT-sided map, you definitely want to uh, get as many rounds as possible. But he is able to pick it up. Coden's going to go down to Elian, and he is going to have enough time to get the defuse. So it is going to go to the CT side. They really needed that win there. So, you know, that was that was some good stuff. Yes, the T side, B side. I wish I could know how to turn on my auto director. Plus Radio 3. I don't understand what Plus Radio 3 is. Pootie here. Going to make his way towards upper. It is smoked out as the T's are going to be stacked up on the upper side. Screech able to take down NJ. Not even sure where that was. I wish my auto director would work. Hold on one second here, guys. Let me figure out the auto director. Still not able to figure it out. For some reason, it's giving me a rate plus radio three button. If somebody could figure out how I can turn on my auto director, it'd be great. Anyways, get back into the game. CT is able to drop the T T guys with ease. Able to get up another uh, another defuse there, picking up another round. So it is going to be three three to three here. As uh, 
Dreamboat picks up another consecutive round there. I really suck at casting, guys. This is the first time I've ever done it. It's a lot harder than it looks, I'll tell you what. Radio commend buttons? I'm not sure what my radio commend button is. All right, we got JP up in the CT upper. Oh, getting taken out by Payne. NJ and Payne able to take down Supreme and JP and make their way into the site. Are they going to go in for the plant? Yes, they are. As, oh, discreet up in the, the uh, T side heaven there, able to take out the planner, who is NJ, but Payne able to take out discreet with the, with the trade there. As we do see the CT here of Pooty in the Z connector. Going to try and pick up these last two frags. He is by himself, so they are able to, the T-Side is able to get the bomb down as Payne is going to be able to drop Pooty, and that's going to be another round for net domination. All right, hey, False Teeth, have a good night, brother. Take care. You know, not having my auto director on is really makes it hard because I, I have to keep clicking back and forth and figure, trying to figure out what's going on. I can't figure out how to turn it on. The third list in one in the controls. Oh! I know what you're saying now. Yeah, but it's not, it won't allow me to, uh... Why does it keep pulling up this? Why does it keep doing that? Yo, Big Money Clutch, how you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm, try I'm attempting to. I'm attempting to commentate. Alright, anyways, it looks like I'll just keep clicking through until I can figure it out. Plus sign radio three. JP with a double, nice double kill there. And uh, discreet taking out the last guy of NJ on the T side. So another round going towards Rainbow. Going to be a 4 4 version. Four, 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 four score for you guys here. Um, as Dreambo is going to be able to take up that last round there. All right, looks like we're going to have an Ivy push here from the uh, the T side. As JP is going to be stacked out here in the mid with one guy playing in upper B for the T side. Uh, trying to make a distraction. If we take a peek here. We got four guys stacked here in Ivy. One guy here making a distraction to try and keep these two CTs here. We do have one CT in Ivy, two stacked up on site. There they go. As the bomb is going to get rushed in here. Alien able to pick up the first frag in Pisano. Uh, is he, if, will he be able to get two? He is going to make the call, though, that they are rushing an Ivy. And Elian able to take down two as JB gets taken out. But Conan is going to come in with the frag. But JP able to take down another T in the site. So this is going to be a one verse 4 situation for Coden As he does only have 8% eight, 8 left of health uh, in the A3. As looks like Supreme is going to make his way and find that last frag on Coden. So it's going to be a round for Dreamboat. 5-4 your score. 5-4 is your scoreline, boys, ladies, and gentlemen. Let's go, Dreamboat. The dream is real, boys. The dream is real. Let's see how we're going to have a breakout this round here. Looks like we are going to have all the T's making their way towards the upper site there. JP is going to be close, pushed up. Able to uh, to get up onto that train uncontested from the CT connector. 
So may, he may be able to pick up some frags here, but it does look like these, the T's are going to make their way towards upper. And I don't believe that they are going to go down through the ladder. As Unfortunately, as you can see, these two CTs are, try, are making their way back out of B, but they aren't going to be able to come back. So let's see if Supreme and Pootie can pick up some of these frags as it looks like the T side is going to, going to make their way into the B side. We do see some smokes out, flashes out. As we have two T's on upper... Oh, but one guy, they're going back towards the ladder. Might be a fake here. Maybe he's just watching the flank. Okay, they are going to come in now. That's Pootie here, waiting for the upper guy. Oh, gets taken down by Code in that dropping shot, but Elon able to pick up on JB. Supreme able to take out NJ as well. Coden is on the site. As we do have all the CTs here stacked up against them. Ready for them to try and get that plant off. Payne looking for a frag over onto the uh, the Z connector. Is he able to pick one up? No. He is going to end up getting taken down by JP. But they do. T's are able to get the bomb down. Supreme taking out Coden. JP with that last frag. Another another round for uh, the Dreamboat guys. As they are able to successfully take out all those T guys running into the site there. So that was a nice play by, uh, by Dreamboat with the rotate and... Uh, and able to get the defuse. I think that the uh, the net domination guys went a little slow, and they probably should have made their way into the site a little faster. Uh, I do understand that they were getting counter flashed by the guys in the in the B site, but uh, if they were to to get in there a little bit faster, they may have been able to get that bomb down and get spread out enough uh, before the the CTs were able to rotate and, and get in on them. So uh, looks like we are going to have a rush here. Out of T connector from net domination. All four trying to get down to that hell side. But JP able to pick up two. He's taking down Payne and Pisano. JB picking up one as Booty JP just clean it up. That was a 4K for JP. Great round by JP. Let's take a look at the score here. JP just rocking out 15 and 5. Playing great for Dreamboat. As uh, your top guy is going to be Payne with 8 and 7 on the T side for net domination. Let's see how this plays out here. We're going to do a little tease here. Looks like two's good. two guys are going to make their way down towards Ivy. Three are upper. JP is pushing up towards the uh, towards the ladder. It's going to end up peaking here. I don't know how smart of a play that is, but he is 15-5, and five, kind of carrying the team a little, so he uh, can't really question his play. Supreme able to pick take the first pack on Pisano. Uh, let's see where that frag came in. We do have these two. This is the same play they're doing before. They have the two guys stacked waiting at Ivy for a push. And uh, they send the other guys up or trying to trying to cause a rotate uh, into B and keep these two guys here. Hopefully to get this guy here to come back into B so these guys can these guys here can make their way into A and get bombed down. Um, as we see these two guys with the bomb on T side still just kind of sitting here waiting. As Elon is still waiting there with an AWP. Looks like Coden's going to make his way in, but Pootie with the auto sniper able to take down Coden right away. So NJ's going to fall back, able to pick up that frag on JP and make his way into the site. With that being said, he is going to make a call. He is out as the two guys you can see there have made their way, but Discreet able to take down Payne and Ivy. Uh, but NJ picking up, the, taking the trade on Discreet and JB able to pick up a frag on, on Pootie. Elin taking a frag on NJ, so we have a 2v1 situation here. JB is able to get the bomb down. Only has 38 points of health as Elin able to get that last frag onto uh, JB there. It's going to be another round here for Dreamboat. That's going to make an 8-4 scoreline for you. Great overall play by the, uh, by the CT guys here. We're able to uh, hold it off after that first... In the first three rounds there, they uh, unfortunately... You know, they were down 3-0, which is can kind of be a little discouraging on the CT side, but getting into that gun round, you got to fire yourself back up and get that round, which they did, and they are making a good comeback here. Uh, but as you can see, the T sides are going to go for a full buy here. They are going to have all AKs. I'm going to pull, pull over here. As it looks like they're going to have a rush out here. NJ making his way. Discreet runs right by him, doesn't even see him. JP Discreet able to take down... All those guys, NJ taking down uh, Discreet and Supreme, getting that double kill there. 
As these two players right next to here, MJ with the triple kill, getting Elian out of the way. We do have JP, one point of health. Able to take down Paint as Bomb is down over in the A site. MJ here, getting in a little little dispute with Pootie, who is stacked up in the Z. We're going to take into Pootie's uh, point of view here. Pootie with the auto sniper. 2v1 situation. NJ has 38 points of health. JP only has one point of health. So this is a doable situation for NJ. Um, if he's able to pick up that first frag onto JP. Let's get into NJ's eyes here. As we do know that uh, 1CT is going to be in that A3 slash CT stairs there. Uh, but he isn't peeking. He's still sitting there. And JP just going to be sitting there. Oh, he wasn't able to spot him. And JP does spot NJ though. And able to get that last frag onto NJ. Another round for your Dreamboat, guys. Uh, that's going to be a 9-4 scoreline for Dreamboat. As we... Uh... Oh, this is... we have one more round in total. This is the round four... into the 14th round here, so... Another full buy coming in from the terrorist side, though. That's kind of interesting. One Galil buy, so, I mean, that's not too bad. He can, he can deal with the Galil. Let's see where these guys are going to end up going here. Looks like we have four coming out connector as JP is going to make his way up on the top of these guys. Not sure. He run, actually just ran right into that guy. Able to get behind him. JP taking out Payne. Elon able to take down Bassano. We're going to stay with JP here uh, as NJ makes his way over. Elon able to pick up NJ. Uh, so we have a 1v4 situation in a hurry as we have your last guy here, Coden, still in the, uh, the T connector. Uh, JP was not, he didn't get spotted there as he was uh, kind of walking around up on top of the trains. Sorry, they, unfortunately, Coden just had too many angles to watch at that point. Um, I don't know if he should have saved his gun or not for the last round. In my opinion, you know, it could have, it would have been a good save, but uh, the guys still have some money, so they are able to buy. We're going to have two Galils, three AKs coming in for the T's. Uh, but, you know, the, the, the CT side, they had full money, everything that they've needed. They still have their auto sniper, their op. Uh, they have an AK and two M4s, so let's watch how they break out this round here. They're going to go for that uh, that three and two again, as two T's are going to make their way down towards Ivy and probably wait, as these three guys are going to try and cause some havoc over in the B site here uh, to keep Supreme and Pooty there. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. These guys are waiting here, so... Supreme gonna throw a nade up there. I think he knows uh, what's what's gonna happen. So this round is still staying quiet here. Those three T's are still stacked up. Let's take a peek back at the map. Elon there with an op. Let's go into his point of view. Elon. Oh, he does fall back out of Ivy. So he must not have spotted anybody there. Does have the op. JP is going to make his way towards B. They did cause the rotate. As you can see, Elon's by himself. As the other guys are stacked up B. Um, but Supreme and JP able to take down those two guys making their way toward B, towards B. As Patano gets taken down as well. Last two terrorists are going to be in Ivy. Elon picking up the first frag on the pain and discreet able to pick up the first frag on the JB. So that's going to be a 4-11 scoreline for your first half as Dreamboat is able to take the half. 11 to 4. Sorry, uh, you guys are my guinea pigs right now. Hopefully... Uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to have to practice this. This is my first time ever trying to to cast a match, so. All right, going into the pistol ride in, in the uh, the second half here. Let's see how this is going to break out. What the, uh, how the, uh, the, the T's are going to break out here. The T side of Dreamboat. Pretty standard play here. That's kind of interesting to have these guys back so far by the spawn. We got Bomb here still back by the, uh, the T spawn. Definitely uh, playing it slow. Let's go. And, what's JP looking at here? Okay, JP's watching the Ivy push. As Neche is going to sit here and watch the ramp on upper. Looks like they're going to keep the CTs guessing. Look like at these two guys just sitting here. Just watching the ramp. <laughs> That's an interesting play. 
if we uh, look at their, uh, their vision there. Still no frags yet. We st 47 seconds left in the round. Nothing has happened yet. This is going to be either a hard push on A with like 30 seconds left or... I mean, they're so far spread out. Alright, here goes the move. 30 seconds. They're making the move. Where we Bomb is going to go through the connector here. As Elon's going to make his way in. The, they, they pushed the two guys upper and it caused the rotate. If you see, all CTs are at B. They're going to have to make a rotate out. Elian's here. Making a fight with Z. Pudi able to pick up the first one. Elian able to take down JB. Is he going to get the, set, the third? Oh, Pudi able to get the third. So they are going to get bombed down and make it a 3v2 situation. JP getting the last guy there. So they have bombed down. All of a sudden, it becomes a 1v3 bombed down situation for T-Side. Great pistol strat there. It's kind of interesting for them to wait for 30 seconds. JP picking up that last frag on Pained, and it is going to be a 12-4 scoreline. They are going to be able to pick up the uh, the T-Side pistol round, which... It's going to make it tough for net domination. Net domination is on CT side, so they definitely can come back. But uh, picking up the T side pistol is definitely beneficial for the Dream Boat crew. As they are going to be able to buy here. Looks like they're going to buy four Galils, one AK. Uh, we do have four P250s and CZ on the uh, the CT side. So they're going to make a play at it to try and uh, try and get this going. Looks like a full out push here on upper. As Pootie is able to get the first frag on the pain. Alien and Supreme able to take down NJ as they're going to make their way into the site now. As you can see, CTs are going to make their way through the Z to try and get some frags here and stop the plant. Discreet and Pootie able to make some shots over onto that Z there. With that smoke there, Pisano and Coden are able to make their way. Pisano will be able to take a, uh, get a frag over onto Pootie there. As Coden's walking through the smoke. Oh, there's two frags. They may be able to stop this, but unfortunately, Pisano and JB both get taken out, and that's the last frag code in there. So Dreambo is able to pick up that round, making it a 14-4. Good round there by the uh, the T side squad. All right. See how they break out this round here. Looks like three are going to go fast into upper here. As uh, only one guy is watching this from Z. They're, they have CTs have nothing B. Looks like they've gone for a complete stack at A. Which is going to be the wrong call. As the uh, the T guys are going to make their way into upper B. Uh, we do see one rotating through the Z at this point. So they, uh, they do realize that. Oh shit we made the wrong call. Uh, we're going to have a little action here. Payne able with the USPS to take down Discreet, who did have a Galil. That's going to be a good frag there for the for the net uh, net, denom net denomination net net domination guys. Um, but they are the T side still able to get the bomb down. Alien's going to pick up NJ. Three v three situation. Alien able to get another frag there onto Payne. As we got Coden here getting taken down by Pooty. Now going to a one v three situation. Uh, the three Ts do have 50, 50 points of health, so. Looks like Pisano is able to get that first frag, but JP is going to take him down ultimately at the end there. And it is going to make it a 14-4 scoreline for Dreamboat. Um, but this is going to be the first gun round. So if the T's are able to get this 15th round and secure that uh, that tie round and uh, able to get all the guns out of the CT sides, it's going to be extre look extremely good for them. But this is where the comeback could be real. Uh, this extremely CT-sided map, so... The comeback is always a definite possibility. We've got the Screet here pushing up into upper B as the other four guys are going to play slowly. Um, as NJ is going to play upper here. Let's see what we got. JB making his way up onto that uh, connector train. Going to peek into T connector here. Not able to spot anybody as of yet as these four T's are still stacked up just kind of waiting for pushes. Uh, they are playing cautiously because they do know it is the gun round. Uh, they don't want to push in too quickly and and uh, have the round go to the way of the CTs before they can even get anything going on. So they are going to slow, slow play this round. Let's see where Coden is here. Where's Coden? He is underneath the ladder. There is one guy on the upper B for the uh, the T's, and he's going to try and draw some people out. Discreet is going to get into B. Payne able to spot him. See if that causes a rotation. There is still only two there. 
JB's going to open up with the frag, taking out two. Oh, I'm sorry, NJ picked up the screen, so they are going to make their way out into A. Alien taking down Coden, but the uh, the CTs have know what's going on. They are ready to to be able to defend this. This is going to be a two v four situation. Um, as we have Pooty here making his way into Ivy and Elin here in the T connector, going to be a tough play for them to get back together. As Pisano, they're taking a shot at Pooty, who's getting shot from both angles. As Elin's going to make his way out, able to pick up the first frag on the JB, but he is by himself one v three situation. Takes a shot at the guy there, but ultimately the time runs out and he's not able to get the rounds. Good saves, you know, save the op, get back back out of there. But that is going to make it 14-5. Dreamboat still in the lead. Who do I have in chat? What happened to chat? Chat just died. Looks like we're going to have three of the Dreamboat guys over here pushing towards Ivy as Pisano is going to be there with the AWP. It's going into Pisano's point of view. Pisano and JB both going to be sitting here to the, uh, to defend these three coming in from the, uh, from the Ivy push. Still no movement here, as the three T's are going to be still stacked up in the uh, in Ivy, kind of just waiting for some pushes. See if they can get a gun down out of the hands of Net Domination. NJ is just going to be hiding here in Upper B, as all of this all of the T's are on the A site, as we can see here. Nobody's on Upper B, so NJ is going to notice that nobody's there, and he's going to try and make his way over. They are going to be pushing. All right, here's the push onto Ivy. They made their way out, Ivy, as Supreme is able to pick up a frag onto JB. And Discreet taking down Pisano, so that's the op down. Pained does know that Supreme is still there. But this is going to be a 2v3 situation in favor of Dreamboat. So they're going to make their way out of Ivy here. We got one guy of NJ over there by the ladder and Pained in the Z. But if Payne peaks, oh, Discreet unable to hit that shot. But there it is, able to get the last pick on uh, on Payne there, as NJ is all alone. 3v1 situation. Discreet able to take down NJ. That's going to be a round for Dreamboat, securing that tie round. Uh, that was actually surprisingly a very good play. I, you know, they they were they saved there and was able to to get the the guns out of the CT's hands. So. Very, very good stuff here from the Dreamboat guys for the first uh, first round of ESEA playoffs open. See how they're going to break out here. Uh, all A push right here. They all push into A. It looks like we're just going to take it big time. Just fucking Elon, JP, and Discreet taking all, all the net domination guys. Pooty able to pick up NJ. We have a 1v4 situation here as Bassano is all by himself with just a USPS. Who is AFK? He's not even playing in the game. So that's going to be game there, folks, for Dreamboat. Dreamboat able to pick up that uh, that final round and, and secure the victory for the uh, ESEA playoff map number one on train. So congratulations to the Dreamboat, guys, as the bomb just ticks away, as Bassano just sits here AFK. Um, all around, just a good, good, good display of uh, Counter-Strike there from the Dreamboat, guys, so... Again, thanks for you guys that have that were here and were bearing with me as I was trying to cast for these guys. I, that was the first time I've ever casted, first time I've ever attempted to cast. Um, so I appreciate you guys sticking with me. I need to go and get a glass of water now. So I'll be right back. Let me get some music on for you guys. So again, thanks for uh, sticking with me, guys. Uh, again, I did the best I could with the casting. Um, 